What's going on guys? Derek here from Wilson Audio Labs. Today we're going to test an amp that unfortunately somebody's already tested. Oh well, stay tuned, we'll see what it is. Alright guys, so today we're going to test out the Amazon best-selling amplifier as of 2019, the Boss Riot 1100 watt amplifier. Our friend Ryan over at Budget Jam and Budget Bus has actually already tested this amp. It's on his channel. I'll leave a link below. I didn't realize that when I made this video and did the test and all the extensive things I did. So anyway, I'm gonna show it to you again because obviously most people must not know because they're still buying it on Amazon. This way you guys will know for sure how much power this amplifier does and should you buy it or not. So stay tuned, let's find out. Good evening, friends. Dick Riculous here, reporting live for WBIGD TV. Let's take the Boss Rat 1100M out of the box, see what it's all about. You can see here it's packaged up. It's got the base knob and the cable, and it's wrapped up in some cellophane to keep it protected. Let's take it out. Here's the base knob, which is plastic. It comes with a sticker. Give us a thumbs up. It has a limited warranty, which is one year, which is interesting because the older models had a six year warranty. According to the website, 1100 watts max, 825 RMS at two ohms, 413 RMS at four ohms. Measurements are 10.44 inches long, 9.13 inches wide, and metric equivalents for those outside the US, 2.25 inches or 57 millimeters in height. Let's take a closer look at the amp. You can see the remote subwoofer base control, which is a RJ11 style connector, base boost zero or 18 dB, low pass frequency from 250 down to 50 Hertz. You have a low pass or full range switch, level control, sensitivity control, RCA level inputs or high level inputs and a power and protection LEDs as well. On the opposite side of the amplifier, we just have the speaker level outputs, which are via regular screw down connectors, a 30 amp fuse, and then the battery remote and ground connection. Again, by screw down terminal, so you will need spade style connectors to get proper wiring. Of course, the amp says 1100 watts on it. Yeah, right, but we're gonna do a little math for you here. We call it big dummy math. So let's take that 30 amp fuse and say we have 14.4 volts that's 432 watts, assuming 100% efficiency. Now, class AB amps are typically between 60 and 65% efficient. So a little math here tells us 281 watts is the most we're going to get out of this amplifier. That's the most. So you know what that equals? This amp ain't doing nowhere near 1100 watts or 825 watts. So what do we have to say about Boss and their ratings? Yep, you know what? You big dummy. Got him! Got him! <laughs> Alright boss, you got him, but we're going to check inside of this amp, see what it looks like. Yes, there's probably electronics inside. So we take the screws off, all the feet, and we take out the optional other screws, and then we take the bottom plate off. You can see the single-sided board Class AB amplifier with a small transformer. Uh, small caps there. They are 105 degrees Celsius caps though. So that's nice and it has the protection circuitry we've already talked about before that these amps are, yeah, they're pretty durable. You know, so kind of a rock solid design. They're cheap, but they just keep going and that's probably why they sell so well. And it's always funny to me when you check the reviews on Amazon, you've got reviews, you know, we've got almost 3,000 reviews on this particular amp. And the top two reviews are, one, this guy gives it five stars. This product made me a believer in budget audio. You can pause this if you want to read it all. But basically he says he never used Boss. Now he's a fanboy. And then number two says, false advertising, not a true 825 watts, more like 110 watts. So you got like five star ratings and one star ratings. Well, we are going to do the amp dyno test next. Let's get the amp wired up and fired up. And we'll find out what the true power is and see how it performs. All right, first up, the 4 ohm test, where according to the manual, 413 watts RMS, we know better. Let's see what we get. The certified test takes us up to 1% THD. Voltage is plenty high, 111 watts. 
uncertified takes us up to clipping. Again, we'll run the 40 hertz track with all of these tests. 118 watts, 14.56. Again, voltage is pretty high. Dynamic. Looks like we're going to make it over 120 or right at 120. 120 watts at 14.66. Next up, 2 ohm. This is as low as the amp is rated. 825 watts RMS is what the manual says. Certified takes us up to 1% THD. 175 watts at 14.54. Uncertified takes us up to clipping point at 40 hertz. 192 watts. 14.36. Dynamic sends a 40 hertz pulse tone into the amplifier, kind of like a subwoofer hitting like a kick drum. Almost 200 watts, 198, 14.46. All right, now we'll check out the results. And yes, they are Dick Riculous certified. Here's all the numbers. You can pause this if you'd like to see, but we just showed all of those. There are a couple on the right side that show one kilohertz test. But yeah, this amp is uh, nowhere near the rated power. So let's try it on a subwoofer, see how it performs with bass music. Tune Gen Pro is set to 33 hertz. Seems to be the tuning frequency of this box. So <clears throat> let's boost up the volume and see what kind of power we get out of it. All right, so we had to stop the test hoping that we would not cause an earthquake. You big dummy. All right, guys, there you have the video of the Boss Riot 1100M. I have no idea where the 1100 comes from. Maybe just drop a zero off the end. Anyway, $50 on Amazon. I mean, I guess I can see why it sells so well because it has a remote base knob. It's only 50 bucks. It would power a subwoofer okay, a smaller sub. Most people don't understand that, you know, 150, 200 watts is pretty decent for a small sub. It will power it pretty well. So again, and Boss, they've proven over and over their designs are, are pretty bulletproof. I mean, you guys saw my older video of the AR1500M. I tried everything I could to make the thing blow up and couldn't do it. I had to end up dropping pieces of copper inside the circuit board to get it to fry out so yeah for the money they're very reliable i just wish they would be more honest with their ratings so people would understand but you know it's not just boss it's across the whole car audio industry there's a lot of confusion that's what i'm trying to do here making these videos so that you guys understand exactly what you're getting for your money so 50 bucks 50 bucks it's a deal but you're not getting 1100 watts so hope you guys appreciate the video make sure you click the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already i always appreciate your comments below let me know what you think what do you think about these ratings are you guys mad at them too you think it's a good ant for the money let me know what you think below till next time big d you know where i'm at i'm out of here
All right, so after the dyno test and speaker test, see what kind of heat we got going on here. 111, 112. Yep, yeah, it's gonna be the most right around there, 112. Not too bad.